Hello you guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. So today's pick a card is gonna be, what is your life purpose? This is my most asked question in my personal readings and in my coaching and you know, um, there is always that question, right? That of like, what is my purpose? What am I here to do? And um, I'm going to be discussing a little bit about what life purpose is, at least, um, to me, this is from my own understanding as of this point on my evolution here of my journey here. So, you know, this might change throughout, you know, as I evolve as a soul and as I grow and, you know, then my definition might change. But as of right now, I will let you guys know what I what I feel like it means to us at a soul level. But before I do that, I do want to say the usual, right? Just get the usual things out of the way so we have option number one option number two and option number three remember that these are general readings if something doesn't fit don't force it to fit you can always take something from anyone's reading myself from other beautiful readers that are also on youtube you know there's always something you can take uh but again remember that all my readings are timeless so whenever you do come across come across this reading this is when you were meant to hear this message like always all my information my classes reiki all of that i'm doing a distant reiki circle as well for this new moon in libra happening on sunday the 25th if you're interested you gotta go to my ig um, unless you're familiar with the process then you already know what to do but if you don't all the links are always in the description box below and I will see you guys in your selected pile if you choose not to hear what is my opinion on the life purpose. So for those of you who stayed, you know, what is our life purpose? I feel like for many of us, when we think of our life purpose, we think of this like grandiose, um, like like, I don't know, like a vision or something that is like so fantastic and so like, you know, we think of like people that are really big on social media, right? Like big artists, big creators, big, um, we think that's what our life purpose is, but sometimes our life purpose is just to be, it's just to be, it's just to evolve, it's just to grow, it's just to learn certain things or to teach certain things to certain souls that we do come across. And just because your purpose does not seem like you know i don't want to name artists because <laughs> if we i don't know how youtube will take it but you know what i mean they're like it's not like the people that you see on on screens or things like that like yes that is part of someone's life purpose but i feel like there's more at a soul level that we're here to learn and sometimes you know our life purpose does involve difficult lessons in life it, it's not always you know rainbows and sunshine like sometimes we come to learn difficult things especially if we're talking about you know breaking family patterns or generational trauma or if we're talking about you know our purpose just being like you know the one that is different being the black sheep of the family like there's a purpose to everything and sometimes like i said our life purpose is just being becoming and sometimes you know i feel like also it's in some way also it's is um is what you choose for it to be in a way so for example your life purpose might be to be an artist well you have the free will to choose what outlet you want that to be do you want it to be in like being a painter or do you want it to be in you know, uh, being a content creator or being, you know, a teacher, like how do you choose to, and even then if your life purpose is to be a teacher, okay, what outlet do you choose to teach? Are you teaching on a platform? Are you teaching on a school district? Are you teaching, you know, and it can just be teachers of your family, of the people that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. So like I said, life purpose is a very complex uh, topic i feel like it's something that as we tend to get older and we start you know living our lives we kind of start to see that our life purpose it's always going to be something grandiose and it's going to be something that is very meaningful even if you know 
it's not you being on the television like i said <laughs> but that is what i have for you guys um i hope that you know let me know what do you feel the life purpose is like i always say i learn from you guys and you guys learn from me and it's always a give and take here always i don't i i always tell people and since i started my youtube i always say i don't know more than you guys okay we all know and learn from each other i am not better than you guys it's not the way it goes always you know keep an open mind always question everything and let me know what do you think life purpose is so we can kind of feed off of each other um, in the comment section, but I will see you guys in your selected pile. Bye. Hello, pile number one. Let's see what is your purpose. What is your life purpose here? Let's have a look. First of all, I was picking up on this energy of solar plexus. Okay, and lots of solar plexus energy here. So I don't know if you've ever been told, if you ever had like a Reiki session and someone's ever told you like your solar plexus light is like beaming. It's so like, I feel like that is like the one that always gets attention when you get a Reiki session or something like that. Or is the one that shows up a lot. I feel like it's the most, I don't know if we can have a more active or the one we have more connection to. But I feel like your life purpose involves your solar plexus chakra, okay? And I feel like also there is a connection between your third eye and your solar plexus. It's like the energy bounces off these two. Kind of like they play tag, okay? Tag your it. Kind of like, you know, tag me in, tag me out kind of thing. I, I see like a book. There's like a book. I'm being shown a book. It could be that literally you've always wanted to write a book. And it could be that maybe you're like, you know what? I don't know how that's going to happen, but I know I'm going to write a book one day. Could be. Uh, for some of you, you have a dream about writing a book. For others of you, there's things that you dream about that you're meant to express to other people. And this could be through means of, you know, a book, writing a book of some sort. But I'm seeing here a lot of wisdom. You guys have a lot of wisdom. How you choose to communicate this wisdom is going to be completely up to you guys. Okay, pile number one. But I do see a lot of wisdom. Sorry, my cat. My cat is always so active for pile number one. Uh, she just got spayed. So she has this cone and she's like scratching it. So that's the noise that you're hearing in the background. But yeah. A lot of like listening a lot of you communication big on communication you guys i don't know you might have strong mercury in your chart or there's something with communication here that you're meant to be giving to others or expressing it's like people are meant to be listening wow garden public venue yeah for somebody this could be in-person events that you're doing it has to do with community okay whether it be hosting events you're, you're meant to be in some type of crowd or audience or in a group of people you're meant to be working with some type of um yeah like a group of people here and i feel for many of you you might be trying to play the field okay for some of you it's like you're playing the field and you're like okay i don't know where you might be trying different avenues like let's say for example you're like trying tiktok or you're trying podcasting or you're trying like writing a book or vlogging or it's like you're trying so many different things and your guides are saying that's okay because that is how you are figuring out which is the best outlet for you to express this divine wisdom that you do have within because i do see akashic records as well again i'm being shown the book so for a lot of you part of your life purpose is to tap into this akashic records whether it be your own akashic records for you to express the wisdom that you need to express or whether this be you tapping into other people's akashic record and there might be something that you provide services to but i do see a lot of in person in person here so for some of you you might be like i said you might be playing the field in like online or some type of platform but eventually i do see that it will be in some type of public venue i i do see people listening i'm seeing an ear as well so people are meant to listen to you or you also notice to like when you go places people tend to listen like people always like when you talk people are like oh you know this person is talking or you know people always say like you have something to say or what you say is valid there's something about that people really value your wisdom people really value your point of view and so if you're right now confused and you're like i'm playing the field i don't know where i'm going your guides are saying that's okay doesn't matter age you guys age is just a number and i know i'm gonna hear people in the comment being like well i am i know 
I know, but really, you know, I feel like divine timing is always at play. And there's a reason for some of us, we're meant to discover or express our life purpose, like fully become aware of it later on in life, because we had to go through certain things, right? So don't ever let age be like a limiting factor in your life. But I do see a lot of communication and a lot of listening. Again, there is this play of the throat, the third eye and the solar plexus here. Okay, let's see. What else? We have a ring, an agreement, communion, closure, promise, bond, cycles. For many of you, you might be like a, a relationship counselor, a marriage counselor for some of you. For others of you, I'm going to let the ambulance pass. I feel like for some of you, your life purpose is coming like fast, 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 fast. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Like it's happening, like the ambulance is it's coming in quickly. You're so close. If you've been on this journey of figuring out what it is, it's like it's coming quick. It's coming quick. The date has already been set. There's something here. There's a chain of events that I'm seeing. But also what I'm going to say is for some of you, you're meant to, your life purpose is to work with others. Yeah. For some of you, you might have North Node in the seventh house where you're meant to work with others. And with this, you do have to be careful, right? Because, you know, learning to see who is really an alliance, who can you really trust, which partnerships are you really um, worthy of committing to and which ones are ones to close out. You might see that you have a lot of people that might come into your life and each one is taking you closer to your life purpose, even if things don't work out with that person. They taught you something, but for some of you, again, it has to do with being outdoors. It could be about advocating for others. For others of you, it could be literally, you know, you are an athlete of some sort. And so you are literally playing the field, you know, um, for others of you, your life purpose is to be in a committed connection. And this, this will be a connection that is very much seen by the public eye. It's a, it's a, connection that is part of your life purpose that is tied to in some way but again this also means partnerships okay wow this is beautiful let's continue wish upon a star look at this for some of you i feel like your life purpose does involve something that has to do when you were a child something that you wished something that you wanted something that you've always wanted to like kind of fulfill um, but I do see here that your life purpose involves making your wishes come true. And again, not doing this on your own, but also doing it with other people. Okay. And maybe trust is a big thing for you because maybe because this is your life purpose, maybe you had gone through some difficult connections and partnerships in your life, whether they be romantic or business. And so, you know, again, this is part of your life purpose is to teach you who to trust and who not to trust. In the heart, Kasimi. Yeah, like I said, this has to do with seeing that's the thing. You have to follow your heart. You have to follow your heart, what it is that you want. And everything that you express also needs to come from the heart. It needs to come from, you know, where our emotions are stored is in the solar plexus. So this is where our confidence comes. This is where we express that masculine energy so for a lot of you i feel like you're very comfortable in that masculine energy being in a position of authority as well the seven of wands yes and there's always going to this came out on insta there's always going to be some type of pack of wolves metaphorically speaking always trying to intimidate you because again, I feel like part of your life purpose, you're this, you are this beautiful horse and a horse is free. A horse doesn't like to be tamed. You might be the year of the horse. You might resonate with foxes. I don't know. You might already be married. But it's like, I feel like there is this sense of, and I love the definition of this card because this card talks about this pack of wolves or coyotes, if you will, that are surrounding the the horse and the horse does feel intimidated in some way at some point 
But see, because the reason why the horse feels intimidated is because the horse has not realized who he is, who he or she is. They have not realized that. They don't, they don't know that they're bigger than the, than the pack of coyotes that we got here, you know? And so there's this energy of, again, you might have been in certain situations where, you know, people did you wrong, but in some way it was also because you didn't see your strength. You didn't see your value. And so you needed to go through certain things in order for you to remember, hey, I'm the horse. And I can definitely overcome all this pack of coyotes that are here. And so I feel like there's always this energy of part of your life purpose is always feeling intimidated or, you know, being tested in some way by other people. Like I said, part of your life purpose is working with other people. But I feel like it's for you to discover like, hey, you are the horse. Okay, Pi, well, I am back. I'm so sorry my cat stepped on the... I'm going to edit it out. But <laughs> uh, the cat always likes pile number one. I don't. You guys probably own cats? I don't know. Or you guys are very much high priestesses. But like I said, and she stepped on and like literally put her paw on the seven of wands. So again, this lets me know that again, there's going to be people that always try to step or one up or kind of like dim your light in some way or feel like they can step all over you so boundaries is a big one that you're learning whether this be in romantic or whether this be in you know business setting that's part of your life purpose also patience because the card that uh came out before i got interrupted is patience please so i feel like also part of your life purpose is to be patient and maybe that's how you felt that your life purpose has always been interrupted in some way or you feel like it's always been like okay i'm on track i'm on track i'm on track and then all of a sudden like something happens and it's like oh well now i gotta take care of this type of thing right and so i feel like for many of you maybe you discover your life purpose a little bit later in life 25 and up for some of you maybe at 39 you know what this makes me think and this is just a personal thing. And for some of you, you might resonate with this. For some of you, you might not. For some of you, you might already be above 39 of age. And so, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, I discovered my life purpose after the age of 39. But if you guys are my friends, like personally, you guys know what I'm about to say. Or when you hear, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, JJ was says this. But since I was a little girl, like a little girl, like around like the age of the little girl here, maybe like, I don't know, like six, seven I always said I cannot wait till I'm 39. I don't know why. Okay, guys, I think Wanda wants to host the show. I think I think she wants to take over. <laughs> but um, like I was saying, maybe she doesn't want me to share that story. Maybe. But I already said it, so we're going to go with it. But like I said, it was since I was um, nine, no, like six six through nine somewhere around that i always said i can't wait till i was 39 and it's so interesting that wish upon a star so i don't know maybe my soul knows something i don't know i'm 31 gonna be 32 next month so i don't know maybe there's something there maybe you've also said i can't wait till i get to my 40s or when i'm 39 or when i'm 25 like there's something there okay uh that might be significant in regards to your life purpose maybe this is when you're gonna be fully aware and like you know aware and really expressing what your life purpose is stop dropping ground literally for a lot of you, your root chakra part of your purpose is to also like you know make your wishes come true ground these wishes especially the ones that come from the heart you might notice that the things that you fully you know because there might be lessons as well pile number one where you've like yeah there's something at 31 interesting okay um maybe between your 30s are significant about discovering your life purpose for those of you who are a little bit younger maybe you got a kind of preview from 20 to 25 and then now you're getting another kind of like maybe even 27 and you're getting another preview at 30 to 39 <laughs> there might be something there these might be important cycles in regards to your life purpose but um also you might notice with your manifestations that the things that and we all do this sometimes we want to manifest things out of ego especially when we're young and we're like just getting started and we're not as spiritually you know aware 
or when we're like, oh yeah, the ego, ego things are going to make me happy. You might notice that those take a long time to manifest or some of them might not even manifest for you, but you might notice that the things that you actually like feel at a heart level, even though they are small, they manifest for you quickly. And that is because again, part of your purpose is knowing and becoming aligned with your heart. Talk to your angels. For many of you, part of your life purpose is to talk to your angels. Like I said, for many of you, you have this like Akashic record, very old soul type of energy. And your guides are saying, whenever in your life purpose you start worrying about things, you know, connect back with your spiritual team for guidance and for assistance. For some of you, you might resonate a lot with Native American traditions, okay? Or their healing methods, very shamanic. And then we have here Polarian. Shy away from sudden changes. Great team player. Again, with the team player working with others. And like I said, not being showy. Staying humble. But also part of your life purpose does involve also staying committed to things that you love. But also knowing when to walk away. Finding that, that balance in between. Maybe your favorite color is blue. Also not being afraid too of making sudden changes. That might be a big thing for you guys. But that is what I have for you. Um, sorry for all the, <laughs> the interruptions. That might be part of your message with your life purpose. Like I said earlier, maybe you feel like you've been interrupted many times throughout your life purpose. But that is your life purpose. Definitely working with others. And look at that. I just split the deck and we have inner wisdom. Like I said, for many of you, it's all about tapping into that inner wisdom and expressing that to others. And definitely, yes, about, you know, Native American traditions. <clears throat> but that is what I have for you guys. Take care of yourselves. Once again, sorry for the interruptions. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hello, pile number two. This is your reading about your life purpose. Let's have a look. Let's see what is your life purpose purpose pile number two i am seeing a lot of creativity okay i am seeing the sacral chakra this is divine feminine point for me um a lot of expressing that your creativity this is where your personal power comes i'm seeing a great balance between the feminine and the masculine because they're showing me the solar plexus and the sacral and like i said the sacral to me is the feminine and the solar is the masculine energy so I feel like for many of you, it's all about expressing your creativity and your personal power, maybe being in a position of leadership, but also owning your feelings as well. And also I'm hearing own your art, own your art, whatever art means to you is going to be different for everyone and how everyone chooses to express their art is up to them. So I am seeing my artists here. I am seeing my creatives are in this pile. I am seeing also those who have like a nurturing role who are very connected to their emotions, but also know how to how to balance between the masculine and the feminine energy. It's very beautiful energy here. So let's see. Oh my God, I can't pick this up. So for some of you, you're meant to help others pick themselves up in some way. We have Virgo energy. How interesting because Virgo is very much a healer, right? Virgo is the sixth house. All about being of service. So for some of you, you're meant to be of service to someone else. For others of you, you're meant to, um, you know, help others, aid others. For some of you, it could be that you are my culinary. You are my chefs, my nutritionist, like I said, because the sixth house is also about hospitals and doctor appointments and just your visits, you know. So for some of you, maybe you already work in the line of work around that. Let's see. And we have the aha light bulb. Okay, for some of you, I feel like your life purpose got revealed like really fast or very soon in life maybe at 26 for some of you this has to do with your intellect as well because virgo is mercury energy wow you guys have a beautiful mind 
Yeah, you guys have a very beautiful mind. Like, I feel like you guys just get ideas. Like, this is your life purpose, to take action on these ideas. To, you know, not allow yourself to sit with, like, with these ideas for a long time. To really just put your art out there. I feel like for pile number two, like, spirit is like, oh, you know, I give you these ideas for a reason. I feel like they come from things that you have experienced. But most of the times, you might not even know why you have certain ideas but your guides are saying is because you're very connected to source look at this it's like your crown chakra is very open you get these like genius um creative sparks you might also be someone who and i always say this creativity or people who do things that are creative does not follow an algorithm the algorithm is not made for people who are creative they're not the algorithm is made for you to like for example if you don't upload on a consistent basis whether this be on any platform then your thing doesn't grow right and so it's not made for creatives and the reason why i say that is because creativity happens like on it doesn't happen on a schedule it, it really doesn't there's going to be moments especially if you're someone who's creative you get creative block and so you have to take a step back you gotta you know you gotta be like okay you know what until i get this like inspiration again and so your guides are saying that's a side message here of like you know don't allow certain things like algorithms or you know don't allow people to put your creativity, your artwork, whatever that is, in a box, okay? To create when you feel inspired to create. Don't allow it to become like a, like an obligation, if you will. Um, because I feel like you guys are some, uh, some of my most creative here. And again, it's like you have a perfect blend between, you know, this mercurial energy and this like um very piscean as well very watery it's like you have a perfect blend of water and earth and that might be your biggest your biggest um energies in your chart where you're like hold on i need to get myself situated in my chair okay we're good so maybe for some of you you need to get situated in your role as well don't be afraid to accommodate don't be afraid to you know be like you know what let me take a pause hold on let me get situated here let me do this like don't be afraid to go on your own schedule and do things your own way okay because like i said you guys are my creatives and with the hermit energy hermit is all about going on a journey within and figuring out what that journey is and so you know you guys have this beautiful blend of water and earth, which is beautiful because um, you're able to tap into, you might have like moon in Cancer, moon in Pisces, okay, or um, maybe you might be a sun water and then like a moon in Virgo or a moon in earth sign. You're able to take this creativity, this beautiful water energy and ground it and let it be something that is tangible for others to, you know, enjoy. But I do see here that you're very creative. There's a, a lot of like endless possibilities. You you might be someone who is a little bit of everything, a jack of all traits kind of energy here. We have the emperor. Yeah, you're meant to be in a position of power. You're meant to be in a position of leadership. Okay, again, this beautiful energy and blend between feminine and masculine energies. And I'm pretty sure I said this at the beginning of the reading that you guys had a beautiful blend between these two energies and we can see it here even in the cards i feel like you're meant to add some structure to your creativity but again this is on your own terms the emperor does not respond or does not no le da cuenta a nadie o sea you know the emperor is someone who does his own thing goes on an, on his own schedule right he writes he writes um the rules he is the one in charge and this is why you have to own your creativity you have to own this emotional expression you have to work on your own terms here pile number two like i said i feel like you're someone who probably doesn't do well with structure you might be someone who is like yeah school was never for me i didn't like it like the school system didn't work for me or the schedule didn't work for me this reminds me a lot of my son who has moon and pisces 
just like myself but he's an aquarius rising and he's always saying mom the school system doesn't work for me like their schedule doesn't work for me he's really good he's very smart he's a pure honor honor roll student but he does get very much drained and so you know maybe you guys were the same okay very smart uh very good with again taking information processing information you're very hard working you're very responsible but at the same time it's like but i need that creative freedom and that's part of your life purpose finding a, pr a balance between you know the the system and your own system as well and seeing what works and taking that and molding it into something different for you that works for you in order for you to express your creative freedom we have marriage here like i said a bringing together of of two opposites and for some of you yes this could be that part of your purpose is to be with a divine masculine energy who is meant to help you this could be a cancer sign or someone who's very has a lot of cancer energy but this is also life purpose of someone who owns their own business as well here okay because of your creative ideas because of the things that you come up with <clears throat> changes yeah like i said not being afraid of changing things up not being afraid of being like you know what i used to work mondays and wednesdays but now i can't do that now i know i need to create a change and so now I'm going to work Saturdays and Sundays, or now I'm going to, you know, I used to do this. I used to, um, let's say, for example, you used to be a painter, but now you're like, you know what? I'm being drawn to sewing now, or, you know, like something different. Your guys are saying that's okay. You have to follow your own inner compass. That's what I'm trying to get at. Tantas vueltas para llegar. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, you need to follow your own inner compass your own ideas okay because your mind here and let me tell you the emperor is very logical he's very good he can do checkmate at any time he's very good at what he does and so for you guys pile number two like again you have the same ability here you have a critical mind but at the same time your creative vision and your creative expression mixed with your mind powerful powerful stuff i just feel like here the challenge is again it's like other other rules or other systems that might not work for you but that might be a challenge within your life purpose of being like yeah that doesn't work for me and that's okay i'm gonna do things on my own term okay and then we have the teacher yeah for some of you teaching is your calling okay teaching maybe how certain systems didn't work for you how you know teaching about the inner work that you've been doing and this is going to help others again you're meant to be in a position of leadership here with the emperor you're someone that has a lot of wisdom that has gone through a lot and i feel like you're meant to teach this in some way and what outlet that is that will be up to you and trust i feel like also that is going to be one of your biggest challenges is trusting your creative expression trusting your intuition because that is that cancer energy trusting your own instinct your own gut feeling over maybe even your logical mind learning how to use and blend these two having a beautiful uh symbiosis between your mind and your heart your emotions and your mind right and your thoughts and learning to help these two work together in such beautiful harmony that you're able to create something structured and something grounded and something successful that is on your own terms in your own way that is very very beautiful energy here yeah because i feel like for many of you you're also part of your life purpose is to have this like psychic development type of energy i do want to pull a chakra card for you guys real quick and we have look at this the root chakra balance yeah like i said balancing the yin and the yang energy that is your purpose finding the perfect balance for you in order for you to be able to express these endless possibilities um these creative expressions that you have these creative ideas yes because i feel like for many of you you're going to see once you have this imbalance and again i'm not saying this is going to be easy or perfect you know our life purpose is never really easy i wish it was but it, it it's not uh 
but it's like once you have this perfect balance this is when you start seeing like all these endless possibilities for yourself and your creative expression but that is what i have for you sweetheart take care of yourself i hope that you guys are doing well sorry for all the interruptions bye hello pile number three okay so hopefully there will be no interruptions in your guys's pile pile number one and two it's quite an energy so let me just cleanse it i already did but i'm gonna get my little selenite wand and just kind of cleanse the energy i'm seeing reunion part of your life purpose is a reunion of some kind this could be of souls this could be of soul family this could be also of like a reunion of your life purpose uh this could also be a reunion of you know something that you love i don't know i keep getting like heart so what I have for you guys when I'm picking up intuitively speaking here is I am seeing that part of your life purpose does involve a spiritual awakening. A lot of spiritual awakenings in this life purpose in this particular lifetime. I'm also seeing here and hearing you're very connected to angels and ascended masters pile number three. You might work with uh, Ganesh as well, Lord Ganesh. I am seeing part of your life purpose is to awaken to your infinite abundance here okay or to also have your finances in order it's also something that i am picking up here for you pile number three but there's a lot of like crown and root crown and root for some of you might be my reiki healers as well or you might really be drawn to reiki getting your chakras aligned you might be life path number eight Life path number 11, life path number three. You might see a lot of like repetitive numbers. So like 33, 22, you, you are very connected. All of us are connected to source, but pile number three, I feel like also part of your life purpose is strengthening that connection to source. Yeah, strengthening that connection. And also peace, because things are very peaceful right now in my house. And then my cat settle down. <laughs> it's like peace, okay? Part of your life purpose involves finding your own inner peace, even if that means going against the, you know, rocking the boat, going against the grain, uh, doing things that bring you peace, even if that means walking away from certain things, situations, or people in this lifetime, okay? Keeping yourself aligned as well is something that I keep, that they keep showing me. But let's see we have hummingbird so you might resonate a lot with the animal spirit of the hummingbird again and i said this at the beginning if you skipped you know my view on what is our life purpose your guys's life purpose is to be present is to be aware it's to be yourself to discover who you are at a soul level to really experience all the good things in life and that includes peace that includes abundance it's like to really enjoy your birthright to like i said prosperity to peace to love to everything that comes with that title but also you know remaining light like the hummingbirds right Wow, you got two birds, so you might resonate a lot. Like I said, with 22 and 33, you guys might be seeing these numbers a lot. These might be personal, like personal meaning to you. You might see a lot of crows or hummingbirds or your birthday might land on the 22 or you might be life purpose number 22. Again, it's all about remembering, remembering what being present is like, like fully engaged in, because let me tell you, there are certain souls in this lifetime, honey, that are walking around numb and unaware and unawakened okay that is something that some people that's their purpose and you know we are no one to judge but you guys are here to be awake to the journey like to really be present in an event in a situation and everything that is happening in your life I feel like for many of you, part of your purpose is to be a problem solver in some way, okay? To be observant, to be an omen reader as well. Um, but again, to remember, remember who you are. And I keep hearing at a soul level, at a soul level. Time machine, yes, look at this. 
for some of you you are able to travel in time you might do astral traveling a lot in your dreams okay for some of you you have remote remote viewing but again being able to manage time in some way but what i mean by that is like remembering you're able to kind of go back and you're able to recall a lot of things like your memory is very sharp like you're able to recall some things that people will be like wait how can you remember that and you're like yeah i remember the time the date and what you were wearing and what i was wearing what we were eating you know that might be an exaggeration but you have like a really good memory and for some of you you might have a lot of past life memories as well and you might dream these you might travel in your meditation but there is a lot of like observing observing like who you were who you are who are you becoming again being very present and aware on your spiritual journey and like i said not everybody has that privilege of doing that okay We have the last quarter transition letting go forgiveness adaptation yeah for many of you like i said you have been problem solving a lot of things okay things from the past things from the present you're you're very aware how things from the past are affecting your present and are will be affecting your future you might be into like you might really love anything that has to do with alternate universes uh different timelines like that might be something that you really naturally gravitate towards but again, I feel like your life purpose involves going through a lot of transitions and letting a lot of things go in order for you to become present, right? You cannot be holding on to past things that you have outgrown or that are heavy to carry. You will also, I feel like part of your life purpose is all about forgiveness and adapting to your current circumstances. And that requires you to be what? Present. You cannot adapt to the changes if you're not present on your journey pile number three and i feel like you guys are very very present you guys might be someone who is able to kind of like you know like the wind um when you get the wind or the wind goes a certain way you're like oh there's changes coming or i can you know i can feel the rain is coming i can feel like you know certain things that like you're able to read omens you're able to be like okay i know i know what that means and i know what that means in my life and you can feel like the waves coming in we have oh you guys got two that's true the fifth house leo energy so you might be someone who is a leo sun moon or rising or have a lot of leo in your chart but this is all about your self-expression and again we cannot express ourselves if we are not aware of who we are and again your guys are like at a soul level <laughs> like if i could have like a little recording in the background <laughs> that every time that, oh my god okay your guides are saying like you know you're here to express yourself but in order for you to do that you got to get to know yourself and in order for you to know yourself you got to be present and you also got to do a lot of healing a lot of healing you know from your past events from future events um and from past life events as well and for some of you, you might be doing this through some type of creative expression, okay? It's like you're very aware of what you are creating. And again, in order for you to become aware of what it is that you're creating, you have to be present. There's a lot of people, like I said, that are always on autopilot. And your guides are saying, you're not one of these people. You're not one of these souls. You're here to enjoy everything that comes with the fifth house. And the fifth house is all about children. The fifth house is the house of romance, the house of fun, basically. It's the house where you can be playful, where you enjoy pleasure. It's the house of games, of chances, of love affairs. So again, it's like your life. I feel like for many of you, you're here to really enjoy the good things of life. Like I said, what is your birthright? And part of your birthright is to have fun, to enjoy, to, you know, um, for some of you, it is love affairs. Uh, you know, it's here. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm no one to say anything about that. I'm no one to judge anybody, but that is here in the cards. Uh, for some of you, it is about, again, indulging, indulging in things, but also knowing when to let them go and knowing the consequences that come with certain things of overindulging. So again, learning to be present in these, in these um, choices that you make. We have the fool. Yeah, look at that 
part of your life purpose is to really enjoy. This kind of gives me at the same time a little bit of a new soul as well. So for some of you, you might have a hard time like grounding and doing like the adulting things for some of you or doing like the um, like dealing with responsibilities in some way. And you're like, oh, man, like, how do I do this? And for others of you, maybe you're too focused on these things and spirit saying, no, part of your life purpose is actually to enjoy, to have fun, to kind of like, you know what, let your freak flag fly or just like really just take leaps of faith, take a chance as a fifth house energy, create, embrace this Uranus energy, right? Because the fool throws caution to the wind. Now, of course, we don't want to be foolish either. But again, there's this energy of finding a balance between the two energies of the fool and this is when you got to see what is good to let go and what is good to embrace get some exercise as your body becomes stronger you begin to feel stronger in all ways and for some of you again being very present in your body it's all about being present pile number three this is your purpose being present and when your body what is it asking you is it is it dehydrated is does it want food is it telling you like you know what it's time for you to go visit the doctor or do i need more exercise in my body or am i storing pain or trauma in my body you know where is the energy stuck where do i need to move this energy so again part of your life purpose is just to be present present in all senses in your mind in your body in your emotions Yes, and finding balance. Look at that. Beautiful. Life path number three. Creative, sharp, witty, charming, success, thought, creative expression. Being an individual is important. Again, it's all about you. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you becoming? Who do you want to be? Again, doing things that bring you balance, that bring you peace. Not what other people, again, with the 33 and 22, you might see a lot of things like this. Again, following your creativity and expressing your authentic self. And we have books. For some of you, you might really enjoy reading books. You might be reading a lot of books about soul growth, the soul journey. For others of you, you've been wanting to write a book or you have this like vision of yourself writing a book. Or you might also see that the certain books or the right books find you at the right time. Like someone just gives you a book or, you know, you get an inkling to like buy this book. Like there's something like books find you and pay attention to the books that do find you. Pile number three. But that is part of your life purpose. Don't be afraid to seek knowledge either. But that is what I have for you guys. Take care of yourself. Bye.